good morning my dear students welcome back to maths class so this is the class for the continuous the chapter number 9 some applications of trigonometry okay so in your previous three classes almost we complete all this problems the remaining problems only we are going to complete now okay students yes now see in the exercise 9.1 already we completed the first 11 sums first 11 sum 11 sums 1 to 11 sum fully completed let us move in our question number 12 question number 12 okay yes student so listen carefully for this question it has some different compare the previous problems okay yes from a top of a 7 meter high building so the angle of the elevation of the top of the cable tower is 60 degree and the angle of depression of it of its foot is 45 degree find the height of the tower in the previous all the problems we are using only the angle of elevation angle of elevation mean already you know some distance or things okay angle of elevation now this problem it is combined by that angle of elevation and angle of depression so on both also okay so the two things we are going to uh, compare the first thing is building and the second thing is tower building and a cable tower okay so building is a small and cable tower is the biggest one cable tower this is a and this is a building the height of the building is given to you in 7 meter what is the height of the building 7 meter so now I'm going to take a B let a B be the height of the building okay and C D be the height of the tower height of the tower see so first I'm going to join this to that <laughs> this like I am going to join why mean see I am uh, this is my height okay if I am moving somewhere the same height only it is off by building the height on the 7 meter the building on the same perpendicular and the tower equal the same height only we are going to get it so that is the same height that is see so the building AB and cable tower CD so from the top of 7 meter high building the angle of the elevation of the top of the tower angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree 60 degree and the angle of the uh, depression in the foot is that is 45 degree that is 45 degree okay determine the height of the tower so the total height of the tower so this fully I'm going to mention by H. The total is H. See student from your lower classes you have prepared some other uh, types of angles that is a uh, corresponding angles, alternate angles and vertically opposite angles, adjacent angles, everything you have prepared. But in, uh, in our portion for this topic we want to know about that uh, alternate angles okay see what is alternate angle mean i'm giving you one uh, uh, small example from the alphabet sir. so the alphabet is it it is denoted by the alternate angle why because of these this angle and that angle will be equal suppose i'm going to join this means that angle and this angle will be equal okay so this is a, a example for alternate angle okay and corresponding angles i give you one letter that is uh, e okay now this angle and that angle will be equal that is called a corresponding angle alternate angles alternate interior angle that like here corresponding angles and one more letter also i'm going to mention that is x x is denoted by that uh, vertically opposite angle so these two angles are equal and that two angles are equal so the three letters i'm going to give you the example for alternate angles is z and the corresponding angles is e and the vertically opposite angles is a x so for that why sir you are giving me the uh, giving means see 
this is the angle 45 degree angle of depression so this angle of depression which is equal to this angle so the angle c also 45 degree why because of its form size that shape no yes so this angle of depression and this angle of elevation are both also same that is 45 degree now you got it i think okay yes student now see this is a 7 meter mean that also 7 meter and uh, this one see a b c d so this point i am going to mention by e i am going to mention by e now see the e c also the 7 centimeter this uh, sorry 7 meter the same height of the building we are going to get it the same here and this one i'm going to take h minus 7 h minus 7 okay when you are taking this it is very simple h minus 7 is the height uh, it's the distance between de and uh, ce is uh, 7 meter and which is equal to what is a uh, ab the height of the building height of the building and one more thing also equal that is bc which is equal to ae bc which is equal to ae yes students okay so first i'm going to take in right triangle so that's small that is acb so in the right triangle acb so from the diagram i'm going to take only the right angle triangle acb take and draw in particularly to get the c Yes, student. Now, so the angle C is 45 degree. So the angle C is 45 degree, and the height of AB is 7 meter. So now I am going to find that BC. Okay. Yes. Why you want to find that BC? So don't we find that uh, uh, AC means AC no need pa. Okay. We need only BC. Why? Because of BC which is equal to AE. And after only we are going to compare. Okay. Yes. Now in right triangle ACB, I am going to take tan, tan theta. So what is that angle of tan theta? Opposite side divided by adjacent side. So the opposite side is AB and adjacent side is BC. Now I have a value of theta is 45 degree. No. Yes. Now tan 45 degree which is equal to AB means 7 meter whole divided by BC you don't know so take it the same. Yes. Okay. Now do you know the value of tan 45? Huh? It is very simple 1. So the tan 45 which is equal to 1. Tan 45 equal to 1 which is equal to 7 by BC. 7 by BC. Here I need only the BC. So to take a cross multiplication. So the BC also to get the same value of 7 meter. BC equal to 7 meter. So now BC equal to 7 meter means AE also will come the same value. Why? Because of that both values are equal. Okay students. Yes. And the next I am going to take that next triangle. Right triangle in right triangle DAE. In right triangle D A E. So here the angle is 60 degree. Okay. And opposite side is H minus 7 and adjacent side is A E. Here A E which is equal to B C. So that also 7 meter. Okay. Yes. Now the tan theta which is equal to opposite side is D E divided by adjacent side is A E. Adjacent side is A E. Now I'm going to the, uh, substitute the values tan 60 degree which is equal to DE mean H minus 7 whole divided by AE. Okay. So tan 60 degree is the value of root 3 no? Yes. Now H, uh, root 3 which is equal to H minus 7 by AE which is equal to BC. AE which is equal to BC. Why? Because of on both also same for the uh, the same distance only we are going to get now that's one so here my height is the same thing uh, uh, which is six feet mean if i'm moving somewhere mean the same height only will come so that same like uh, the height of the building is seven na inge move agum bodu seven da varu okay yes at the same time in the aeu ec bc equal a irukum ipa root 3 which is equal to h minus 7 by 7 in the previous step we find the value of bc no yes 
now the next i am going to take a cross multiplication root 3 7 i mean 7 root 3 which is equal to h minus 7 so i am taking this like h minus 7 equal to 7 root 3 i need only the value of h so h equal to minus 7 want to move that side plus 7 so plus 7 root 3 plus 7 root 3 here i need the height height of the tower so h equal to we have the two terms on both also the same uh, i mean common term of 7 uh, so i'm taking out to get the value of 1 plus root 3 so what is the height of the cable tower form 7 into 1 plus root 3 or root 3 plus 1 okay so here we don't want to substitute the value of root 3 suppose uh, in the given question itself and the um, question itself they are given use root 3 which is equal to 1.73 so that like they are given mean you need to substitute the value of root 3 and uh, simplify the final answer to get the height of the cable tower here nothing is given so we don't want to do anything okay yes so the next question is question number 13 in exercise 9.1 okay yes now the question number 13 i am reading the question listen carefully and observed from the top of a 75 meter lighthouse from a sea level so the angle of depression of two ships are uh, 30 degree and 45 degree if one ship is exactly behind the other on the same side of the lighthouse same side of the lighthouse now find the distance between the two ships okay yes now listen all of you so this is your lighthouse okay so this lighthouse the two ships is uh, are absorbed by the angle of depression angle of depression means so we are getting that two, two ships so the first ship and second ship like that okay so give the name for the two ships also the first ship is a and second ship is b okay yes now this is a and that is b so on both also the same straight line the same uh, same straight line and same side of the lighthouse and same side of the lighthouse okay so the first ship the angle of depression so the angle of depression is going to take a 45 degree okay so the angle of the depression of the first ship is 45 degree and the second one is a 30 degree okay yes so this like one okay so this is a line of sight so for that first ship is 30 degree and second one is 45 degree so that like i'm going to take okay so already i told you the alternate angles are equal how to take the alternate angles you know yes okay see take the point a b c d whichever you have to take to take a points okay yes now this is a 30 degree mean so the same straight line to get so the angle a also 30 degree and this is a 45 degree means so that also in 45 degree okay have you got it children okay so the two angles i'm going to take and one more thing is given 75 meter height lighthouse 75 meter height lighthouse okay so what are they asking me in this value only so the distance between the two ships so the distance between the two ships i'm going to mention a b and the height of the lighthouse b mentioned denoted by c d okay yes students again i'm reading lesson carefully so as observed that uh, uh, from the top of the lighthouse so this is your lighthouse this is your lighthouse so top of the lighthouse from the sea level so this is a sea level no yes the angle of depression of the two ship the first ship a and second ship b so the first ship is 30 degree and second ship is 45 degree so if the one ship is exactly behind that other ship which is on both also the same side of the lighthouse now we need to find the distance between the 
two ships. Distance between the two ships. Okay. Yes. Now, in right triangle DCB. Oh, sorry, DBC. Okay. Here, right angle is not a problem, but whichever angle is given, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree. So, based on that only, we want to take in the center place. The three angles are pretty good. Okay? Yes. Now, in right triangle, D, B, C. Here also, I am going to take a tan theta. And before that, I give you that uh, per, uh, particular diagram to segregate the, the above figure. That is B, C, D. So, here the C, D is 75 meter. So, the angle is 45 degree. 45 degree. So, here also, I am taking the tan theta. So, tan theta which is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side. So, here opposite side is CD and adjacent side is BC. Adjacent side is BC. Now, what is the angle pa? 45 degree? Ya? Okay. So, tan 45 degree which is equal to you have opposite side is 75 meter divided by adjacent side you don't know. So, take it the same thing BC. Okay, yes. Now tan 45 degree already you know that is the value is 1. So 1 equal to 75 by BC. Now I am going to take a cross multiplication to get BC which is equal to 75 meter. BC equal to 75 meter. Okay students, yes. Now then next I am going to take the next triangle. In right triangle D A C. In right triangle D A C. So I am taking the individual diagram for that A C D. Okay. So the angle is 30 degree and this is a 75 meter height of the lighthouse. Yes, student. So here also I am going to take the tan theta. So tan theta which is equal to opposite side is C D divided by adjacent side is what ac adjacent side is ac so already we have mentioned this is x okay yes. and what is that angle 30 degree now okay so tan 30 degree which is equal to cd you have a 75 meter divided by ac means ab plus bc so ab plus bc mean it will come x plus bc okay take like that otherwise bc equal to take y or something variable that's your wish okay but i am taking as the same x plus bc why because of already i have a value of bc is 75 meter so what is the tan 30 da 1 by root 3 which is equal to 75 by x plus 75 why because of bc which is equal to 75 B C equal to 75. Now, I am going to take a cross multiplication for that to get X plus 75 which is equal to 75 root 3. 75 root 3. Okay. So, here the plus 75 want to move in right side to get X equal to 75 root 3 minus 75. So, these also the same previous one. You have a 75 is a common on both terms. So, I am taking out to get x equal to 75 into root 3 minus 1 x equal to what 75 into root 3 minus 1 so therefore so the height of the lighthouse is 75 into root 3 minus 1 here also the same thing i'm going to give you that uh, if you if they are given use root 3 equal to 1.73 means you have to substitute otherwise take it the same answer in a final Okay, have you got it, children? Okay, and the next question. Here, yes, student, the next question is example seven. Example seven. Okay, yes. Now listen carefully. This is a very easiest question. From a point on the bridge across a river, so the angle of the depression of the banks of the opposite sides of a rivers are 30 degree and 45 degree respectively. If the bridge is at a height of 30, uh, 3 meter from the banks, find the width of the river. Width of the river. See. 
so first uh, this is the river okay so the two banks i'm going to take uh, a b and the this is a point this is a point p so from the point only we are going to take a angle of depression on both sides both of the uh, of two ends here yeah. and the bank means that is a current so uh, the other art in the in the side the current opposite trend is a doing current in the middle of the other okay it's not this is a 30 degree and the angle of depression this is a 45 degree and the height of the bridge is 3 meter height of the bridge is 3 meter so take us and uh, the tap point D take the point D okay yes now listen let A and B be the two points on the bank of the opposite sides of a river opposite sides of the river and P is a point of observation from the uh, angle of depression on the two of its ends okay and the height of the the uh, what is that uh, height of uh, height of the bridge is 3 meter height of the bridge is 3 meter okay yes now we need to find the width of the river so a b i'm going to find now a b i'm going to find now okay it is very simple already i told you this is the angle of depression 30 degree mean it will come that angle of elevation from the point to the point a it will come 30 degree and this is a 45 degree means so the angle b also it will come 45 degree okay students yes now in right triangle in right triangle p a d p a d in right triangle p a d so here you have a tan theta so take in a particular diagram like this to differentiate that the two right angled triangle okay yes. so this is a p and this is a point a and this is d now it is a right angle and the angle a is 30 degree okay so this is a 3 meter yes now tan theta which is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side so here opposite side is pd divided by ad divided by ad now you have a value of theta is 30 apa so tan 30 degree which is equal to opposite side is pd that is 3 meter divided by adjacent side ad you don't know so just write it okay yes now tan 30 degree do you know the value pa is yes, 1 by root 3 so 1 by root 3 which is equal to 3 by ad now i am going to take a cross multiplication to get ad which is equal to 3 root 3 meter ad which is equal to 3 root 3 meter and the next time i'm going to take that opposite right angle triangle that is p bd pbd so the angle is 45 degree and the height of the bridge is 3 meter okay yes now in right triangle p b d so here tan theta which is equal to opposite side is p d divided by adjacent side is d b adjacent side is d b so here theta value is 45 degree upon so tan 45 degree which is equal to p d is 3 meter divided by d b so already you know the value of tan 45 degree is 1 so 1 which is equal to 3 by db okay so to take a cross multiplication to get db which is equal to 3 meter db which is equal to 3 meter okay yes in the before that we find that ad and now db now what i'm doing what i'm going to do width of the river width of the river a b which is equal to c so this is the width of the river a b which is equal to a d plus d b okay a d plus d b yes student now you have a d is what 3 root 3 
and plus BB is 3. So on both also 3 is common, I am taking outside to get root 3 plus 1 meter. So the width of the river is 3 into root 3 plus 1 meter. Width of the river is 3 into root 3 plus 1 meter. Okay, have you got it children? And the next question, example 6 next term. Example 6. So this is also the same pattern of the question number 12 in the exercise bar. Okay, yes. Now listen, I am reading the question. So the angle of the depression of the top and the bottom of 8 meter tall building from the top of a multi-stored building are 30 degree and 45 degree respectively. Find the height of the multi-stored building and the distance between the two buildings. Okay, so this is the first building and this is the next building. This is a small building and it has a height. How much? 8 meter. Height is 8 meter. And this is a multi-stored building. Multi. Yes, no. Listen. So the building, 8 meter tall up. Okay. So, so the angle of depression. So this is the point of the observation. So from the point of the observation, we want to take the angle of depression of the top of a building and what one more thing top and bottom okay top and bottom of a 8 meter tall building so first i'm going to take to join this like to get this 8 meter and that also 8 meter now the angle of depression here i'm going to take join like this so this and this is a first 30 degree and next the bottom of a building is 45 degree and this one is a 45 degree. Now give the name part A, B, C, D, E. Okay. In book itself given in different pattern. So don't take like this. Don't, uh, sorry, don't take like that. This is the easiest pattern for you. Okay. Yes. Now listen pa. So this is a 8 meter and that also 8 meter. So already I told you. So the angle E is 30 degree. So the angle A also 30, uh, 30 degree only coming. Why? Because of the alternate angles. Now see the next E. That angle is 45 degree. Mean this angle also it will come 45 degree. 45 degree. So first I am going to take. See the total height of the multi-stored building is H is h this is a 8 meter dc then what will come ed h minus 8 h minus 8 what is children okay now in right triangle e a d in right triangle e a d so here tan theta so first i am taking the small triangle like this a a d so this is a 30 degree and that is h minus 8 okay h minus 8 now see in right triangle e a d tan theta which is equal to opposite side e d divided by a d so tan how much degree pa 30 so tan 30 which is equal to e d mean h minus 8 h minus 8 by AD. So take it AD only enough. So tan 30 is 1 by root 3 which is equal to H minus A H minus 8 by AD. Now I need only AD which is equal to H minus 8 into root 3. So take as equation number 1. Okay. Yes. And the next I am taking in right triangle E B C E B C so the whole triangle part okay so the angle is 45 degree and B C E so the total height is H yes pa okay now take a in right triangle E B C which is equal to tan theta which is equal to opposite side the whole value C E 
divided by AC. So tan how much degree? 45 degree. Yada. So 45 degree equal to the CE. I am going to mention by H. I am going to mention by H. Now AC which is equal to already I told you here. AC. Yeah. Yes. Sorry AC not. CE divided by BC. Sorry. BC. Pa. Now BC and AD on both also same. Okay. Same distance. Now AD. So tan 45 degree equal to 1 which is equal to H by AD already you know H minus 8 into root 3. Now I am going to take a cross multiplication to get H minus 8 into root 3 which is equal to H. Now root 3 H minus 8 root 3 which is equal to H. Which is equal to H. Okay student. Now I want to move this like to get root 3 H minus H which is equal to 8 root 3. Now H is common on both sides. Uh, both term to get root 3 minus 1 equal to 8 root 3. 8 root 3. Okay. Yes. Now I need only H. So H equal to 8 root 3, uh, root 3 whole divided by root 3 minus 1. So the conjugate factor of the denominator is root 3 plus 1 by root 3 plus 1. So multiply to get 8 root 3 into root 3 plus 1 whole divided by here a plus b into a minus b you have the value of what what is that value a square minus b square so root 3 the whole square is 3 minus 1 is 2 so 8 root 3 and the root 3 i'm going to multiply uh, wait so 8 root 3 into root 3 plus 1 so the whole divided by 2 so 1 2 are 2 4 2 are 8 so 4 into root 3 into root 3 3 plus root 3 3 plus root 3 so this is your final answer final answer for height of the multi-stored building so h equal to what 4 into root 3 plus 3 meter is the height of the multi-stored building okay and next to one more thing also asking that is Distance between the both buildings. So distance between the both building, which is AD, which is equal to AD. Okay, AD or BC on both also same. Now I'm taking AD. AD, which is equal to already you have H minus 8 into root 3. Okay, now you have a value of H is 4 root 3, uh, 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 which is 4 root 3, uh, 4 into root 3 plus 3 minus 8 into root 3 now multiply to get 4 into root 3 4 root 3 plus 4 3 is not 12 minus 8 into root 3 okay yes now see 4 root 3 plus 12 minus 8 is minus 4 into root 3 now root 3 multiply inside that root 3 see root 3 into root 3 3 yeah. so 4 into 3 minus 4 root 3 so here 12 minus 4 root 3 12 minus 4 root 3 okay student yeah sorry plus okay so the greatest number only no 12 plus 4 root 3 so there I'm taking 4 in common so 4 plus root 3 meter now what is your final answer 4 into 4 into C 4 into 3 plus root 3. So what is your distance of this 2? 4 into root 3 plus 3 or 3 plus root 3? 3 plus root 3. Okay. Have you got it children? Yes. So that's your final answer. Yes. The next question. Yes student. The next question is question number 30. Uh, sorry 14. Question number 14. See students. So... A 1.2 meter tall girl spots a balloon in a moving with the wind of a horizontal line at the height of 88.2 meter. Okay, so the total height is 88.2 meter. Yes, student, from the ground, so this is the ground level. From the ground. Okay, yes. Now the angle of elevation of the 
top of the i mean angle of elevation of the balloon from the eyes of the girl is first see the balloon is flying in that place okay at instant after some time the balloon is going to move that opposite i mean the next side is that is opposite side is first the position a and the position is b okay so when the position at instant is 60 degree okay so i'm going to join like this so this is a 60 degree and after the angle is reduced to 30 degree Reduced to 30 degree. Why? Because of when you can't touch them, in the balloon, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay, wow. this. Now, find the distance travel the balloon during the interval. If you look at the balloon, move it. Come, you can't run. Yes, students. Okay. Now, listen, pa. So the total uh, height of the horizontal level is 88.2, and the height of the girl is C. This is C and this is D. So the height of the girl is 1.21. So here also 1.2 coming up. So what is the value of BD? So BD which is equal to what will come? 88.2 minus 1.2. That is 87 meter. So the height of the 87 meter. Okay. Now I am going to take this horizontal height like this. Okay. Yes. No. Now you clear the student, clear the question students. A girl of uh, height 1.2 meter first spots a balloon uh, in the position of A and after some time the balloon is moving that other places of uh, uh, the point is B. So the first place uh, at instant the angle is 60 degree. After some time the angle is reduced by 30 degree. 30 degree and the horizontal level from the high I mean horizontal level of height of from the ground is 88.2 now I'm going to subtract 88.2 minus 1.2 why because of 1.2 meter height of the girl okay yes to get a BD which is equal to 87 meter 87 meter okay yes now next first I'm going to take the triangle a, C, uh, this one take a E. A, B, C, D, E. Okay. In right triangle A, C, E. So that like, huh? okay. So this is a 60 degree and that is also 80 samana. Okay. Why? Because of the horizontal level of height. This is 87 means that also in 87. This also 87 meter. A, C, E. Now tan theta which is equal to opposite side is what? A, E divided by adjacent side is C, E. Adjacent side is C, E. Now tan 30 degree, uh, sorry, tan angle how much pa? 60 ada. Okay. Now tan 60 degree which is equal to A, E is 7, 87 divided by C, E. You don't know. Take it. This is X like that. You have to take okay and this is a y mention the name now what is the value of tan 60 is root 3 which is equal to 87 by x 87 by x now i need only x upon so x which is equal to 87 by root 3 now i'm going to take a conjugate factor of this to get 87 root 3 whole divided by root 3 into root 3 what 3 now, 1, 3 is 3, 2, 3 is 6, remainder 2, so what? 9. That is 29 root 3 meter. This is a value of x. That is a value of x. Okay. And next, I am taking in right triangle B, C, D. B, C, D. So, here, that like one. 30 degree. This is A, uh, C, B, D. Now here also tan theta which is equal to opposite side the same B, D divided by the total value C, D. Okay, yes. Now how much the angle pa? 
tan 30 degree. So tan 30 degree which is equal to BD the same 87 by CD is uh, CE plus ED. CE plus ED. Okay. Now tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3. Now CE I am denoted by X and ED is a Y. Okay. Yes. Now 87 by X plus Y. Okay. Yes. Now I am going to take a cross multiplication. X plus Y equal to 87 root 3. And already I have a value of X is 29 root 3. Apa? Okay. So 29 root 3 plus Y which is equal to 87 root 3. Now I need only the value of Y equal to 87 root 3 minus 29 root 3. 29 root 3. Okay. Yes. Now here on both sides, both term also root 3 is a common power. So 87 minus 29. 87 minus 29. Okay. Now what will come? The value of Y is 87 minus 29. 87 minus 29, 17 minus 9 is 8 and 7 is 58. So 58 root 3. Okay. Now root 3 into 58, that is I am taking 58 root 3 meter. This is the value of Y. Okay. So the distance between the two balloons is distance between the distance between the two balloons is 2 balloons is what 58 root 3 meter 58 root 3 meter have you got it children anybody having doubt in this it is very simple only okay if you want to join a b join let us join it's not a problem okay yes then the last question is a yes, student the last question of this exercise question number 13 Sorry, question number 15. Huh? Okay, 15 only remaining. All the all the questions have we completed? No, yes. So I'm reading the question. Listen carefully. This is a different question to find the time. Okay. In the previous question, we have completed the height of the tower, height distance. So these two things only we have find. No. But this question, we need to find the time taken. Okay. So I'm reading the question. Listen carefully, all of you. Yes. Yeah. Straight highway leads a foot of a tower foot of a tower so a man standing at the top of a tower observe a car at an angle of the depression is 30 degree 30 degree okay yes which is approaching the foot of the tower with the uniform speed okay and the uniform speed on the car point but six seconds later Okay, 6 seconds later, the angle of depression of the car is to be found by 60 degree. Find the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower from this point. From this point. Okay, this is different. Why? Because of they are not giving anything. Okay, we need, we have only one the 6 seconds. So, how we are going to do? Listen just. Okay, yes. Now, the question number 15. One man is sitting in the top of the tower. Okay, top of the tower. Yes, wait. So this point, this is a tower pump. This is a tower. So take us A, B. Observe your car. It is travel at the angle of 30 degree. Okay, so this is a ground level. Huh? Okay. And 6 seconds later, the car is to be founded by another point. Okay, another, uh, another point that is first C, then D. Pa. The angle is 60 degree. Okay, how many? This is a 30 degree and that is a 60 degree. So, like that. Pa. Have you got it? Yeah, no? Okay. Very simple only. Da. Okay. Yes. Now, listen carefully. Again, I am reading. A straight, uh, straight highway leads a foot of the tower. This is a tower. And this height we don't know, just simply take H only. You don't want to do anything. Okay. Yes. Now first, what I'm going to do, see the two uh, the two points. So the first point at the angle of depression is 30 degree. So the car. Okay. Observe your person. First man or country in the car 30 degree. Six seconds later. 
ओके सिक्स सेकेंड लेटर दस कार आदि अंदर है इधर इधर टावर अप्रोच पड़ी था आदमी ट्रिक करने का औरे सो आप तो उन्हें इन्ना एंगल अंदर पोज़न पाकर आ रहे ना सिक्सटी डिग्री एंगल ला पाकर आ रहे ओके इप्पे इन्ना क्वेश्चन के करांग ना इंगे इंदी इंगे वारत की अवलो नेरा आये रखो बीन के करांग पुरी था पां ओके सो फर्स्ट व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू टेक इन राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल ADB. So here also I am going to take tan theta, which is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side. So opposite side is AB divided by DB. AB divided by DB. Now tan theta is 60 degree. Yeah. Tan 60 degree, which is equal to AB by DB. And both also we don't know. So just take AB. Okay. Now tan 60 degree is root 3, which is equal to AB divided by DB. Okay, yes. Now I need only the value of db, which is equal to ab by root 3. Or otherwise, take ab, which is equal to root 3 db. Root 3 db. Okay, yes, student. So take us equation number 1. And the next step, I am going to take the opposite side. I mean, opposite triangle in right triangle. In right triangle ACD, ACB. Okay. Now in right triangle ACB, here also tan theta which is equal to opposite side AB divided by BC or CB. BC or CB. Now tan theta is 30 degree. Ada. So tan 30 degree which is equal to AB divided by you have BC means CD plus DB. CD plus DB. Hey student. Okay. Now listen. BD plus DC. Now already you know the value of DB is what? First and before the tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3. Yeah. So 1 by root 3 which is equal to AD by DB plus DC. Now I am going to take a cross multiplication. BD plus dc which is equal to ab root 3 ab root 3 now db you have a value of ab by root 3 plus dc which is equal to ab root 3 now i need only dc apa so dc which is equal to ab root 3 minus ab by root 3 so on both also ab is a common i'm taking outside to get root 3 minus 1 by root 3 Okay, yes. Now, DC which is equal to AB into, to take a cross multiplication of root 3 into 3, what will come? Sorry, root 3 into root 3, what will come? 3 minus 1 by root 3. Okay, so DC which is equal to AB by 2 by root 3. Now, I need only AB, yeah. So, AB which is equal to root 3 DC by 2. Okay, yes, student. Okay. Now the time taken already they are given six seconds later than a solid Okay. So time taken by the car at the distance. Okay. Time taken by a car. By the car. Which is equal to it is very simple. Already they are given DC only no, yes. So DC. Okay, so here DC only we know means we don't want to do this. So, already you know 6 seconds. In the end, 6 seconds. Then 6 seconds divide. 6 divided by what? AB by 2 root 3. AB divided by 2 root 3. Okay, student. Yes. Now, I am going to take a cross multiplication to get... A uh, what will come? 6 into root 3 by 2. Yes, student. Okay, wait a minute. Now, it is very simple only see. So, the time taken by the car is this one multiplied by the, and the next word db. So, that is ab by root 3. ab by root 3. Okay. Now, 6 into root 3 by 2 into ab into ab by root 3 
so root 3 root 3 will be cancel a b a b will be cancel so 6 by 2 which is equal to 3 seconds 3 seconds okay have you got it children okay so time taken by the car which is equal to see this is a dc yeah. this also do, no need pump okay see so time taken by the car which is equal to dc into db dc into db see dc or cd into db into db so dc which is equal to now only we find the value a b into 2 by root 3 into db already you know that is a b by root 3 a b by root 3 okay now i am going to take 6 by a b into 2 by root 3 so that uh, reciprocal taking 2 by root 3 the denominator comes to numerator so 6 into root 3 by 2 a b into a b by root 3 so to simplify to get the final answer equal to 3 second final answer equal to 3 second so that is your final answer okay yes student yes student up to this question so the chapter number 9 will be complete uh, uh, chapter number 9 fully completed okay yes so complete the worksheet and uh, the next week slip test also the coming the same chapter of uh, trigonometry i mean uh, some applications of trigonometry so complete your class of uh, first and we'll meet in the new chapter in the next class okay thank you students